So here's how you find out where your graph crosses the y-axis, the x-axis, or touches the x-axis. To find out where a graph crosses the y-axis, you simply find out where on your graph the x value is equal to 0. So to find out where that is, you put an x equals 0 into the equation of your graph, and out will come where you cross the y-axis. So if I put in x equals 0 into the equation of my graph, so y equals fx represents the equation of any old graph, okay? And y equals f naught just means replace x with naught. So if you've got x's in different places, replace all those x's with zeros, okay? If you just got 1x, replace that with 0 as well. And uh, put it into the equation, substitute that into the equation, and whatever the result is, say the result is, say, minus 6 to this, that means your graph crosses the y-axis at minus 6. So to find out where a graph crosses the y-axis, you simply substitute x equals 0, and the result is where it crosses the y-axis. On the other hand, if we want to know where a graph crosses the x-axis, you put y equals 0, because imagine it, look, okay, if you're over here, that means the y value at that point is 0. So if you put in y equals 0 into the equation of your graph, basically do that, and get the solution, or solutions, that's going to tell you, the solutions are going to tell you where you're crossing, or your, where your graph is crossing the x-axis. Now if you want to know where your graph is touching the x-axis, that's actually the same working out as finding out where your graph crosses the x-axis, because touching the an axis in maths is actually the same as crossing, but crossing twice at the same point. So that sounds really weird, you probably have to think about that. But basically, if you cross the axis twice at the same point, that means in maths you're touching the axis rather than crossing it. Okay, so if I solve this, okay, and I get two solutions, or two of the solutions are minus three, okay? That means I'm crossing the x-axis at minus three, and I'm crossing the x-axis at minus three again. That doesn't, so that actually means I'm not crossing the x-axis at minus three, I'm actually just touching the x-axis at minus three.